y'all. Welcome back to my channel, The Kassan Edit, where I share all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, my way, of course. Today, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite beauty empties and rebuys. So these are items that are completely run out and I need to repurchase and also things that I keep on rotation to repurchase. So without further ado, let's get into it. quite a few things to share with you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it the first thing is this true botanicals pure radiance oil the company reached out to me sometime last year and sent this to me and boy am I so happy that they did because this was a game changer so much so that Namaya is actually the one who emptied it she stole it from me, you guys she stole it from me it is so so good I put it on my face at night I'm just gonna open it and it comes like this so you could just do the droplets on your face. I did this every single night after I would wash my face and do my normal skincare. This was pretty much the last thing that I would put on my face and it has been the best thing since and I've missed it. It ran out sometime in the spring and I have been meaning to get it so I need to either reach out to the company and ask if they could send me another one because they also sent me a code that I could share with you guys. So I'm gonna find out if they could do that again. It's a little on the pricier side, but so, so worth it. I would consider this a holy grail product for sure. There's like no question about it. This is one of the best things I've ever used on my face. So I highly, highly recommend. Other oils that I use that I don't have with me right now because I need to repurchase them. Um, I ended up throwing out the bottles. I use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. Now, a little tip that I'll share with you guys, you can actually purchase that on eBay as a sample if you're just wanting to try it out, because that's what I did. I tried it out, it turned out to be magnificent. I actually never ended up buying the real product. So I'm exposing myself here. What I would do is buy the samples and just pour them into a bottle that looked like this. Um, but it's definitely worth investing and in getting the actual full product because I loved it. I just was lazy and didn't purchase it, but it's very, very much worth it. And I stand by all Kiehl's products. They have such an amazing reputation and their products actually do work. The other oil that I do not have with me is bio oil. Swear by bio oil. Once the pandemic hit, I started using it on my face. I was only using it on my body at one point, but then when I switched it up and tested it out on my face, it was such a game changer. For someone who's oily, I used to be so scared to use products that were oily, but oils have been the best thing for my skincare. I use whatever oils that I can, and those three are my top three oils to use on your face. Next, next, next. One of my friends actually put me onto this a couple years ago. I don't have problematic skin, but I'll have pimples that pop up here and there if I'm not taking care of my skin the way I need to, i.e. when I was in my first trimester and completely neglected my skincare. I just did the bare minimum, but I didn't do all the little extras. If anything popped up, I would just take a Q-tip, dip this in there, and just dab it on there. The next day, it was pretty much gone. Now, I do want to note, you will see like a separation of like oil and water, and it's going to tempt you to want to shake the bottle. <laughs> and Namaya actually points it out to me one day that it clearly says do not shake. So you're not supposed to shake it. So you just dip it into the pink solution and put it on your face. It actually smells like calamine lotion. Like back in the day when chicken pox was a big thing and your parents had to use calamine lotion on you, this is pretty much what this smells like. Not a bad thing, but you actually feel the product working when it is on your face. And I do stand by Mario Badescu's products. I used to use their whole line for my regular skincare regimen but this is what I use right now. So onto what I actually use for my skincare. I brought the whole box with me. I use the African Black Soap Clarifying Facial System. You can get this whole system at Target. And that's actually where I get most of my beauty and skincare items. This is something that I tried out probably four years ago at this point, and I have not turned back since. And I was scared to use it because of the black soap because I had an experience with the real African black soap 
that someone brought over and it kind of broke out my face. But I took a chance and tried this and that's all I've been using. And my skin has thanked me for it. So let me just show you what it comes with. It tells you what it comes with right here. So it has the face and body bar soap, which I have in my shower. Um, the facial scrub, which I have right here. And you can tell that I use that up. Um, then it has the balancing moisturizer, which I have right here. And the last thing is the mud mask, which I'll use every time I really want to like detox my face. So I just love that this comes in a whole set because it just makes skincare really easy. And I'm the type who I used to have so many different steps to my skincare, but I like that I can just grab this and do all the different steps and add any other oils afterwards. I don't really have to make it too complicated. And I find that it works for me year after year. I haven't been finding that I need to switch it up like a lot of people do. This has been, again, working for me for about four years now. And I don't intend on changing it because it really does work for my skin. I try to limit my makeup to two times a week. But what I usually do on the days that I actually do use makeup, I every day I wash, do my normal cleansing. But then once I wipe my makeup off, and then I wash with the soap, I go in with this afterwards. Um, and it, I know they say not to scrub every day, but I don't mind scrubbing every day with this. This isn't something that I feel is too invasive for my skin to be able to use it on a daily basis. So I, if I really wanna have that nice glowy skin, I will go ahead and use this at night before I go to bed. I don't use it in the morning. I just use it at night before I go to bed. Next is this eye cream. I wear glasses pretty much 24 seven. I only put contacts on when I do these videos so that you don't see the glare in my glasses. But I started to realize that I was getting faint black circles under my eye, especially during the pandemic. I'm not sure why, but I was just trying to figure out how to get rid of it. A lot of the research that I found said that you need to find something that has caffeine in it. And then I went on ahead to try to find out what product had them. And this was one of the top products that came up. It is the Caffeine Eye Cream. Um, the Inky List is the brand and you get it at Sephora. Really inexpensive. It was 10 bucks, I wanna say. And I put it under my eyes and it not only gets rid of any kind of puffiness, I don't really get puffiness like that, but it does not, it gets rid of the puffiness, anything that you may have there. And then it just really tightens your eye area, which is very, very sensitive. It also serves as a primer for my eyes when I'm doing my makeup. And I find that my makeup goes on seamlessly. I actually used it today and my makeup looks very different when I do not put this on. So it's a twofer, right? Next up is something that's super practical but necessary. It is this lip treatment from Chap Ice. And I actually started using this during my first trimester because my lips were getting severely chapped. Because my water intake was very low, my lips just became chapped on a whole other level that I had never seen before in my life. So any of the regular things that I was using just was not working for me. And then I happened to go to my best friend's house around Thanksgiving and they had something lying around. I used it and I found that it was really thick and it stayed on a lot longer than what I had been using at the moment. And I also felt that it moisturized my lips really well. It felt like it was actually penetrating. So then I was like, all right, what is this and who does it belong to? Nobody could remember where they got it from. So when I went online and started looking, it was actually pretty difficult to find. And the only place I could really find it was on Walmart. <laughs> so I ordered it on Walmart. It comes in a three pack. I only have two here because I gave one to Namaya. But this one is completely done. It is the cocoa butter flavor. It comes with three different flavors. So I think Namaya has the plain original. Um, and then I started off with the cocoa butter one, which by the way, my husband completely jacked me for. It's probably done so fast because he was coming to my nightstand every morning and night taking some of this. And I was like, why don't you just take an actual tub that I have? He didn't want to do that. He just kept getting, he just kept going for mine. But it is that good to the point where my husband is like stealing it from me. So this is the cocoa butter one. And then I am now using the rosy because this is done. And he loves it so much that he didn't want me to throw this away. I can't get to the 
last residuals because of my nails, but he is like wanting to get every little drop out of here because obviously he has no nails. So it's easier for him to get whatever's left over in here. So I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this because it has proven to be so good. And even before I do my makeup, excuse me, I put this on just so that my lips will be somewhat moisturized for whatever lip product I'm gonna put on. I don't put too much cause you don't want it to interfere with what you're gonna actually put on your lips, but I just dab a little bit on there and I'm good to go. Another holy grail that I was put onto is the NARS concealer. Let me see, it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Th this is done y'all. I am, I don't know if you can see how done this is. Like, yeah, you can see the stick in there, but it is time for me to get a new one. I scraped to the very bottom of this and you can't even get to the bottom, which is annoying because the cap stops you. And there's also some products stuck in here. So that's the only annoying thing about it, but this is like cracked me. I cannot go without this. This has to be in my rotation at all times. And I am in trouble right now because it's time for me to re-up on this. And I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to do it, but it has to happen if I wanna look. Like, look how nice and bright it makes my under eyes look. And it goes on with such a smooth finish and it makes my makeup literally look flawless. And so that partnered with like putting, making sure I put the caffeine cream on there and then putting this on top of that. Y'all, so good. And I get it in the color walnut. So, oh, let me see medium dark walnut that's what it says so i need to get another one i used to get two different colors like this light one and then another darker one so i can like cover up any spots but this is what i basically go through like running water since i'm saying that i might as well go to the next thing which i put on top it is the laura mercier translucent setting powder whoo y'all who remembers the days when we were all hooked on banana setting powder? I actually still have some from that time that I never ended up finishing because it was such a big bottle. But once I started using this, which is actually a year now, I've been using this for a year now. I Could you believe I just stopped using the banana powder a year ago? Yeah, so lame of me. <laughs> if there's anything that I did during the pandemic, it was up my makeup game because I was behind in the game. I was very much behind. I'm not like a makeup connoisseur or anything like that, but I do know what works for me. So I make sure that I stick to that or try newer things, which is what I did with this and it was well worth it. And I will not be going back to the banana powder. Again, it is the translucent one and it is the setting powder. Look, I am like really scrambling. At this point, I am <laughs> patting it like this to get the product out because it is done and it is time for me to get a new one. So yeah, I highly recommend this as well. If you're looking for flawless makeup, you need this, you need that. I have very, very oily skin. I always need to prime my face with something that is going to mattify it so that once my makeup is all done, I'm not dripping and getting oily as the day goes on. So I came across this, I don't remember who I heard this from. I get a lot of my makeup tips here on YouTube. Um, Jen, Jenny, I can't remember her name. I started watching Jenny. She's the one who really taught me how to get the foundation down as far as makeup goes. And then I followed by like Jackie Ina and Mena Adubeya or Mina. I'll put all those folks down below. Oops, I almost dropped it. I'll put all those folks down below so that you know, but I basically learned how to do my makeup on YouTube, nowhere else. I'm a visual learner, so that's something that was easy for me to do anyway. Plus makeup is like art to me. All right, moving right along. This mattified my skin just the way I needed it to. Going back to another old school thing, I used to put Milk of Magnesia on my face, which worked by the way, and that was the technique I used before I came across this. The Milk of Magnesia was something I did before that because I could not find anything that worked. And finally came across this and it works perfectly. 
you need to be careful when you use it. You cannot put this all over your face unless your entire face is oily because then your makeup is going to look cakey. You just need to put it on your target areas where you know you get oily if you have that issue. So I get oily around my nose, my forehead, and also like around my lip area. So I lightly put it on my face in all those areas, not everywhere else, just so it can just keep those areas nice and tight. And I feel like my makeup can last so much longer because of this. So this is definitely one of the products that I can't live without. I really, really have to have this because otherwise my skin is going to just be dripping with oil because I get super oily as the day goes along if I'm not wearing the proper primer. Moving on to something that is very difficult for most people. So if you are a girl who has issues putting on lashes, this next thing is for you. It is the type of lashes that I use, specifically the brand. Now, I even tested this out because I thought I was fooling myself. I first started using these a few years back. During the pandemic, I feel like I perfected putting on lashes because before then it was hit or miss. One day I'd get it right, another day it would be a complete fail. But what I found is a few things. So this is like a quick eyelash tutorial for all of you guys, right? This is coming from someone who completely sucked at it, okay? I have gotten extremely better with practice. Using this particular brand made me feel like I was the expert that I'm absolutely not. I don't know what it is about the strips exactly, but something about it curves perfectly to your eye and just allows you to place them where you need to place them. They're not stubborn, they're flexible enough. They move just the right way for you to be able to place the lash perfectly. The other thing that I use is the glue that it comes with, the Eyelore glue. So pay attention to what I'm saying here. There's Eyelore lashes and then there's the Eyelore glue, which comes with every pack. You can also get this separately, but I never end up buying it because it's always in the pack. This glue, don't know what it is about it, but the way that it dries down, the consistency that it dries down to is exactly what you need. It's tacky enough. And once you go to put that lash on to your actual lashes, it sticks perfectly. And what I quickly realized is that all eyelash glue is not made equal. And this one is definitely probably up there. I remember Lavinia was at my house having a hard time putting on some lashes. Whatever lash glue she was using just wasn't sticking. I was like, use my lash glue, trust me, use my lash glue. She went to use it, she's like, whoa. Well, and we were both not experts in this, but like I said, you get this combo, it's gonna make you feel like you're an expert. This is actually the more exaggerated. I use this for like special occasions, the ones that I have on right now, which are the 117s, are like an everyday pair that I wear. So I run through these very, very often. I get the three pack, it comes in a three pack. And just remember they are the 117s. And they're pretty much like the wispy version for the Eyelore. And I love what they look like. It's not too much. I actually thought they discontinued at one point because they changed the packaging. I was contacting the company frantic because that's how much I love these lashes. I can't get myself to get any other lash because these work so well for me. And all of them work the same way. So even when I go and try the, like, what are these ones? This is the Lux Silk. Even when I switch over and use these, same experience. That let me know that something is up with this particular brand and how they actually make the lash, which makes it easier for people who are beginners or even people who are intermediate. And so now I feel like I'm crossing over to like the expert lane and these are still my favorite lashes. But the other tip that you need to realize when you put lashes on is that you do need to let the glue dry just a bit. So what I'll do is before I actually do any eye makeup, I'll put the glue on the lashes, let the lashes sit there for a bit, do all my eye makeup, maybe even just finish up my brows, look at them and they'll be ready to go. And this also turns black when you put it. That's the other thing that I like about it. It turns black so you don't have to worry about any eyelash glue showing when you're putting it on. It literally looks perfectly seamless. The other thing that I wanna share is this tweezer. 
You guys are really getting a quick little eyelash tutorial. This tweezer also helped me as a beginner. Still use it. What I'll do is I will put the lash with my finger first because I feel like I have more control. I'll put the lash on there and everyone's eye is different. So the way that you place it on is going to be different for everyone. Some people could just go right on and put it. I can't do that. I actually have to sit there and stick it in the middle first and then start to attach it in other areas. My It does not just go on easily like that for me. Once I get it on, I will take this tweezer, which I think is actually for, I think it's for lashes. Yeah, it says Icona Lashes. So this is for lashes. I will link it down below. I got it off Amazon because I was so sick and tired of not being able to figure out lashes. I was determined to figure it out. So this is something that I added as a tool to help me out. You just reinforce it with this tweezer. Trust me on that one. Since we're talking about eyes, I'll go ahead and talk about mascara. This is a mascara that my leak recommended. And you know, my leak does curl box. So she knows a lot of things. Even though it's hair, she knows a lot of things in beauty. I trust all of her recommendations. Um, and I'm just a my leak fan altogether. This is a Maybelline mascara that she recommended. I am actually an old faithful when it comes to the Mary Kay mascara. I used to use their, I think it was the ultimate at first. Then they came out with a newer one called the Lash Love. And that just ended up being my holy grail. So I don't typically deviate from the Mary Kay mascara. So I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. I just wanted to try this out because my leak recommended it. And it's all done. <laughs> I totally have to um, re-up on it. But I actually think instead of reading up on this one, I'm going to get my Mary Kay one. Maybe I'll get the two of them and you guys can, and I'll do an example so you can see the difference. But there's something about the stroke of the brush with the Mary Kay one that really just allows you to stroke up your lashes. Cause I don't have that many lashes to begin with. And sometimes when I use certain brushes from other brands, the mascara will get all over my eye. I don't have that much, so it just gets all over. The Mary Kay wand is way more precise and it allows me to just put it on a little easier. And I also make sure I put mascara on before I put my lashes because it just helps it stick a little better and my lashes just end up being perfect. Like these lashes are everything. I can't get myself to switch up. Every time I see people recommending others, I'm just kind of like, I'm good, I have my old faithfuls. Right? The other thing that's my holy grail item is this eyebrow liner from NYX. Now I use a lot of NYX and NYX is a pretty affordable brand. And the majority of the things that I use here are NYX. So if you're looking for affordable makeup, NYX is a brand that you should probably try. But I use this eyebrow liner. I used to use something else. I can't remember what I used to. I think it was Mary Kay too. I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. So I used to use a lot of their products. Um, but since then I branched out and tried new things and my friend introduced me to this and I have not turned back since. I was going to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow liner that everybody obviously uses, right? But I find that this is probably just as good and I loved how her brows looked when she showed it to me. So then when I went ahead to do it for myself, it was perfect. The strokes are really nice. It's very light. So it doesn't make your brows look too dark and you're able to have good control over how you actually create the brow that you're going for. It's retractable so you can go up and down with it. I get this in the color Espresso um, so that my eyebrows don't look too harsh instead of using the black. Um, and then the other side has a spoolie. So this is something that I get. What does annoy me about this is that it runs out pretty quickly. So I end up buying multiples at a time just to make sure that I have it on hand because this is something that I cannot live without in my makeup routine. Sorry, the trash is getting picked up. So you're probably hearing that noise in the background. My bad. I am a wing liner girl. All my wing liner girls say, hey, cause yeah, I'm a wing liner girl. Look at that, look, okay. That is my thing. I have been a wing liner girl for some years now, probably since I started wearing makeup. And every time someone sees me in person, one of the first things they notice is my wing liner. And it's always to perfection. And the reason why is because I always, always, always use liquid eyeliner. And I use 
most recently, I've started using the NYX one because I just love their stuff. I want to branch out and do like the blues and the whites. That's going to come soon. But I get the, they have different eyeliners. I get the Epic Ink Liner. I know a liner is good once I see what the tip looks like. And this tip is perfection. Ooh, is it leaking? Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. This is what this tip, it doesn't usually do that. This is a perfect liner. But it has like a spongy tip, but it's super, super pointy and fine. So I'm able to create this perfect type of wing liner. Um, and that takes practice. Like I usually hear this makeup artist say, when you do your eyeliner, they are twins. They are not identical twins. So if you don't get it perfect on both sides, it, the point is to make them look like twins. You do not need to make them look identical. So I'm sure this side, I feel like this side is a little shorter than this side, but you can't tell, right? They're twins. The next thing that I have is this lip lingerie from NYX. Surprise, surprise, right? I really, really love their products. And I know that they are called Neeks because I was listening to a podcast with my leak and because she deals with so many beauty brands, she said she called the office one day and they said, hello, thank you for calling Neeks. And she was like, oh, because I always used to say NYX, but it's actually called Neeks. So if you didn't know, now you know. All right, this is a product that I have used for three, four years now. I love, love, love this. It dries down very matte, but not matte to the point where you feel like you can't like crack a smile or something like that. It is the perfect product. I just use it as a base on my lips. This is in the color 17. I think I have that on right now. So I have that on right now. Oh, and I didn't bring out what I actually used to line, but I line my lips with a NYX product as well. But I'm showing you guys this because this is empty and I absolutely need to refill it. When I'm doing a nude natural look, I have to have one of my NYX products. I get these in different type of nude colors, try them out, see what works best. And so far, this color is one of them that has worked best for me, number 17. We're all different shades, so you need to make sure that you try out the different colors to find out what works for you. But number 17 is one of them that works. And then I have like three of these. I have number 17. I have another one that's a little rosier that matches my natural lip color. And then I have a lighter one that I just dab to create this kind of ombre look that I have here. And then I just line it with um, a NYX liner that I'll show you guys in another type of video when I show like my actual favorites. But today I'm only showing you what I have run out of and just need to repurchase or things that I already have repurchased. Like these, which are my Beauty Blender dupes but they are really, really good. And if you can't tell already, I'm not big on spending money on, I'll go spend like X amount of money on some designer shoes. For some reason, I do not wanna spend my money. I always wanna find the affordable route. I've never used the Beauty Blender. I have heard that it's really good. However, these um, Beauty Blenders from Sonia Kashuk, which I get from Target as well. And I think Target is the only place you can get them. The ones that I use are not in here. I use the bigger, I use the bigger one and then a smaller one for my under eye makeup. These are so good. It's either I use this or I use a flat brush from Sonia Kashuk as well. Um, the flat brush really gets my foundation on really good, but I also do not have any issues at all getting my makeup on with one of these beauty blenders. The key to making sure that your foundation is flawless is making sure that you keep them clean. So you don't wanna have any residue on them. You want them to be nice and soft and apply your makeup with a nice clean sponge. That way you'll have a completely flawless makeup look. Once I show you guys what this is, you're gonna already know that this is one of my holy grails. And it is the Lip Bars Boss Lady Liquid Lipstick. My leak again put me onto this years ago. I followed my leak for probably since she started Curlbox. So, she mentioned this early on, tried it out. Now, I don't typically just use it on its own. I actually have a video on my Instagram that can show you the process as to how I do my red lip. But red is really my signature color. If I'm not wearing red, I'll do something like this. But for the most part, red is my zhuzh. I'm gonna be 
rocking my red and I have found the perfect combo. So what I usually do is I line my lips, just like you see them lined right now, with the Boss Lady. And then in the center, I will put, um, I think it's Boy Trouble. I'll put the color Boy Trouble from Boss Lady too. I have a lot of their liquid lipsticks. They are my tried and true. I do not wear any other red. I used to be a die hard Ruby Woo girl. Once I got put onto this and I found my combo, you guys have never seen me in Ruby Woo. I mean, maybe I'll try it again just because I have seen some people in Ruby Woo and I'm like, oh, that red looks good. And it turns out it is Ruby Woo. Maybe, but no. This is something I always, always go back to this. Now, if I want to wear this on its own, it's a little darker than I would like it to be. But when I wear it just on its own, that's when I want to give like a vampy, moody type of look, like maybe in the fall or just also depending on what I'm wearing. If that look calls for a darker red, I'll go for it. But I like my reds to pop. And the combo that I do, which you guys can, I'll put up the clip here so you can see it, but you guys should definitely go watch it. That is my go-to and it never fails me. And it stays on nice and dry. Everyone always asks me what I'm using because it stays on all day long. I will eat, I will never reapply. I never have to reapply when I put this on. That's how good this is. And it's vegan, that's also great, right? And it's black owned. What more can I tell you? If you don't know about Lip Bar, you are living under a rock and you need to get with the program. I will link everything down below. Worth it, worth it, worth it. I will spend my money over and over on the Lip Bar. And now on to the last product that I always, always make sure that I have in rotation is my setting spray. I always, always re-up on this. If I don't have it, if I don't have it, I feel like something's wrong with my makeup because I always need this to top off my look. And it is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And I get the oil control one because again, my face is oily. So when I was looking for things to try to make sure I could mattify my face, this was one of the things that was recommended, tried it, and I have never turned back since. I've used it for years and years and years and years and years. Um, and like I said, I used the oil control one. And it also gives you a dewy look without making you feel like you're oily. So that's what I really love about it because my makeup won't look cakey or anything like that. It will set it perfectly and still keep down and still control my oil in my skin. So this is definitely one of the things that I will always, always use and I always re-up on. I used to always get the travel size, but then Namaya got me the bigger one for my birthday one year. And so this is what I have. So that is all for my shares on my beauty empties and items that I always keep on rotation and continue to purchase. If you guys have any questions on what I use, make sure you hit me up down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And if you guys want me to do more videos that have to do with beauty, please let me know. I know folks have asked for me to do makeup tutorials, which is a little nerve wracking for me because I am not a makeup artist, but I can absolutely share it with you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, please let me know that you wanna see that because I do wanna make sure that I'm sharing and being helpful with you guys, especially since YouTube is where I learned how to do my makeup. So if I can help you in any way, go for it. I'm happy to help. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification down below and do not forget to follow me on Instagram at the Kassan Edit, where you'll also be able to see that video on how I apply my red makeup and I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching and hope you guys have an awesome one. Bye y'all.